Hi, we're here with the Chicago uh, Solution to Age Wiring Project, and I'm here with Kate uh, Longhead uh, at her house. Um, basically, it's a house in the suburban area of Chicago, and um, she had called uh, a couple weeks ago and indicated that she had some problems with her uh, electrical system. Uh, I came out, we took a look at it, and basically we found that it's a house that was built in about 1952. Uh, it's got 50-some plus years of age on the wiring and uh, we found some uh, problems. Kate, why don't you describe some of the uh, issues that you had? Well, uh, one of the issues was uh, we couldn't run more than one major appliance at the same time without something popping. Okay. Um, also, we were noticing that um, plugging, uh, plugging things into certain receptacles were making others pop and not work in the same room. Okay, when uh, you say pop, you mean the breaker was the, tripping? Yes, the okay. breaker was tripping. Also, at times, lights would, would dim if, if certain things were, were running, a microwave was running, and lights in the basement would dim. Okay, now, and you've been here about three and a half years. Yes. You purchased this house, and you're living here with your with Marlon, your husband, and your, your beautiful daughter, yes. uh, Moira, and um, you have some concerns with yes. your electrical system. Absolutely. Okay. And uh, it looked like at some point somebody had, uh, maybe your husband, homeowners do this very often, they change the receptacles and things like that through the house to make it uh, a little bit more safe. And yes. I, I did notice that you had some newer uh, devices. Yes, we went through, a lot of them were painted over when we, when ah, we came okay. in, so we all right. changed it. But the best of your knowledge, you didn't have any uh, anybody replace all the wiring and things like that. It looks no. like pretty much you got the same service that was on the building originally. Yes. So our task here, we've got a crew of electricians, which you'll be seeing in the video, and uh, they're going to be working very hard, and within the period of this day, we're going to be changing every single bit of wiring in this house, including the service, because very often when you have all the tools and the people here, that's an easy component to uh, switch. So uh, as you view the video, um, throughout the day, uh, this is the house, and this is Chicago's solution to uh, aged uh, wiring. All right, well here we are at the end of the day. It was a busy day. Uh, some of the things we found in this house, uh, first of all, it's a 50-year-old house, a brick house. Uh, the interior is done completely in beautiful plaster walls that are in uh, very nice shape. Uh, we didn't need to do any uh, cutting or patching of uh, walls. Pretty much we found 50-year-old uh, wiring. It was old TW wiring. Uh, at the ceiling, drum-type fixtures. It was very discolored, showed a lot of evidence of uh, uh, of, of being bad and brittle in terms of uh, the insulation on the conductors. Uh, some of the fixtures, when we opened them up, the insulation actually fell off. Uh, looked like there had been some work over the years uh, by this homeowner or maybe the previous homeowner, where things were uh, added and some of the uh, some of the terminations and that weren't weren't really up to uh, snuff. Um, the house was completely wired in uh, steel, metal, raceway, EMT which was really conducive to our replacing all the wiring in this house. Uh, you can see the pile of uh, TW that's pulled out here. Some of the discolored wiring is, uh, is evident. Uh, it was all pla replaced with uh, THWN. Basically, we've got a uh, 1950 house with 2006 uh, electrical uh, system. 
while we were doing this uh, uh, rewiring of the house, it was it was easy at this time to change the panel and upgrade the service. There was a hundred amp uh, service on the house, and uh, that while that may have been adequate, the village here that we're in, suburban Chicago, uh, has has an amendment that uh, this needed to be upgraded to 200 amps. So this homeowner now, uh, besides having a completely rewired house, he's got a 200 amp service where there were 12 circuits before. Now there's 18 circuits being used with a lot of spare circuits that uh, things could still be added. Uh, we've got a separate uh, circuit for the furnace. We've got a separate circuit for the washer and dryer. We've got a separate circuit for the sump pump. We've actually got three kitchen 20 amp uh, circuits. Uh, Marlon's got an office area upstairs, beautiful office, where he's got a lot of uh, office equipment. We're able to pull uh, three circuits up there, uh, one for a sleeve through, a room air conditioner, 20 amp circuit all by itself, and uh, we have two 15 amp circuits up there for uh, convenience outlets. As he sets up his office, there'll be plenty of capacity there. So basically, we're done with this house. Uh, we didn't uh, damage the walls at all. The homeowner is very appreciative to that. Had this been a different type wiring method, uh, you know, I'm not sure we would have been able to do this. Uh, certainly, we would have had to chop walls. Uh, and I, to be honest, I, I don't have any experience rewiring a house where I got to destroy the house. So this is Chicago's solution to uh, aged wiring. Many houses uh, like this in Chicago in the surrounding area that have steel metal raceway. Uh, this is a very easy solution. Uh, you just pull the old stuff out, you pull brand new wiring in. And today we got a beautiful house here in suburban Chicago with 2006 uh, wiring system.